So I've existed in about 475 square feet for the past almost two years and my days are numbered. So I figured I'd share a few things that just make sense when you're living in a small space. Number one is this drying rack. You've probably seen in previous videos that I had a different drying rack, which I still actually highly recommend. You have more than enough space to just dry your dishes over your sink. However, I did have to upgrade because as some of you may be familiar with, I quite often film what I eat, so I can't be lazy about it. Therefore, sometimes I tend to make more dishes than I would like to. And although I do have a dishwasher, it's not appropriate for everything to go in, like wood pieces, for example. So those I definitely need to wash by hand which believe it or not is where I come up with some of my best ideas because this is when I also listen to audiobooks. So I have to be doing like a monotonous chore that doesn't require my focus because I'm a visual learner and auditory noise is usually distracting. You've probably heard me say this before, but seriously, I just don't have time to be stationary and doing one thing at a time. I must be multitasking like some of the things in my apartment. So thank you to Audible for sponsoring this portion of today's video because this is the only way I actually read now, like seriously. I I have time for nothing anymore but recently i decided to purchase big magic unfortunately i haven't actually started it yet just because i've been coordinating moving but when i start packing is when i'm really looking forward to starting this title and i can actually be engaging mentally while i do this very tedious work i've been trying to read one book a month which is really easy to do since audible members get one credit every month but that's just not reasonable at least in the hectic climate that i have created for myself right now but you can put that credit towards any of their premium selection they have bestsellers new releases and they count as a solid purchase you're not borrowing anything you own it which means you keep it so they have plenty of stuff to keep you entertained inspired informed whatever your niche is and if you want to find that out for yourself you can get a 30-day free trial right now all you have to do is use the link in my description box which is audible.com backslash a between e or text a between e to 500 500 so I opted for this larger one, which I feel like still is pretty streamlined. It's large enough while not taking up too much counter space fits the color scheme of the kitchen. It's not immediately detectable and it just blends in. And that is one of the secrets, which brings me to my next item. Because if there's one thing you heard me talk about in my room makeovers, it's camouflaging. In fact, the smaller the space you live in, the more camouflaging will be your best friend. So number two is my shoe rack. And we might as well throw in number three as well, which is right next to it, my giant wall hook, which I'm using to hold my foot rest. And seeing as this is not actually just wicker, it has a metal frame, it's gonna hold a lot of weight but you can use it for anything. And I'm sure I don't need to explain this, but giving yourself more storage is obviously always a win. And what works about this one specifically is that it is raised off of the floor. This is the second key to making your studio apartment feel as large as possible, because if things are not touching the floor, they're technically not taking up square footage or at least tricking the eye into thinking that you have more walking space. Also from Ikea is my sofa. So this is a sectional that you can configure in whichever way that you want to. So obviously, since I am in tighter quarters, I only have two sections. However, the two sectionals that I chose are of great importance because at first sight, they just look like something to sit on. One of them kind of oddly larger than the other, but one of them is actually additional storage. So while you can buy this section piece just plain or more money, obviously, you can solve all of your hoarding needs or like me, put in your additional bedding which you wouldn't think that I would need that much room for additional bedding. I mean, how many sheets and duvet covers could you possibly need? But it's not just for my bed because yes, as you guessed it, the larger section of this sofa turns into additional sleeping space. My mom was actually really clear about me having some place for her to sleep whenever she came over. Surprise, surprise, she has never spent a single night in this apartment, but there it is just in case. Speaking of beds, my actual bed is a full queen size, so it takes up a considerable amount of that floor space that I was talking about. However, it completely comes up off of the ground. So instead of taking up like what, 86 to 90 inches, now it only takes up less than a foot. So when I'm not sleeping, I get a lot more of my space back and also makes it efficient for when I'm filming and I need to be in front of the windows to get, you know, that good aesthetic lighting. Back to the living room, which brings me to the stool. Even though I'm using it as like a little side table, it is technically a stool, therefore it is additional seating. We love a multi-purpose item. And resting atop that, my projector. This was a lifesaver. And although I have a lot of apps on the projector itself, I still plug in my fire stick. So then I have access to even more apps. And like I said, working our way back to the door, that also brings me to this step ladder, an essential piece that should really be in any household, not just a studio apartment. What I like about this one specifically is that, again, it doesn't take up floor space. I don't have to find a little like broom closet to hide it in. I can just prop it up on the wall because it's collapsible. 
people. This is from Ikea. However, for some reason they discontinued. That was a bad move, y'all. Maybe you might want to email them and tell them to bring this back because why though? Since we're right next to it, if we go into my top kitchen drawer, this is where I keep all of my utensils. I mean, look at it. You see, you see how skinny these drawers are, right? So there's no way that you can fit a traditional utensil holder. And so this really is a genius system. But seeing as I prefer to color code, yes, that is what my closet looks like. I do this and that ideal because the sizing is different for like knives, forks, spoons. That is good enough. And also in my kitchen, because as I was saying, I don't have a broom closet. Uh, I was really worried actually about where I was gonna put like cleaning products. Like it took me well over a year to even buy a vacuum. I opted for this system from Muji. I will link this of course down below with everything else because I can clean my entire apartment with pretty much everything that's in this one little file folder. So all of these are attachments that fit onto my broom system. So with this, I can dust, mop, sweep, scrub, and clean my glass. And I even have another little small broom handset so that I don't have to have a larger dustpan, which finally brings me to my pots and pans. In fact, I was actually looking at a different system, which was more affordable. However, it was also an international purchase and I ran into some difficulty. So I opted for these instead and don't be fooled. I don't pay full price for anything. I bought these on sale and then I also got cash back and then I also had a coupon. So I still got a really good deal on these. I love these because not only can you use them on the stove, you can also put them in the oven and they come with lids which are easily detachable with the same handle that you use for the pot itself. And because the handles are removable, you can also use your pots as food storage in the refrigerator. So leftovers, that much easier to pack. So as you can see, you can easily take up very little space by just stacking these into one another. I do need to get a size to kind of fill in this gap between these two. But other than that, definitely a good investment. And I do actually have more products that I would say make living in a studio apartment much easier. So if you haven't seen my apartment tour, make sure you click here to check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, do that. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.